DJ I saw on Twitch who actually had a fucking crazy background going on. Like, you yeah. got your degree <laughs> in uh, graphic design, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of like prepped <laughs> and ready for yeah, the set apocalypse. I was kind of ready for the for the the coronavirus quarantine. Um, and luckily, we had we had tried doing a cooking show before with the green screen. So I was a little bit familiar with Twitch and a little bit familiar with um, you know keying out a green screen and that sort of stuff. So I was I was in a good position to just jump right into it. So. Yeah. So you were already on Twitch. You were doing the cooking show that you do with your wife already. Yeah. Uh, well, we we did it a bit last year, and then we ended it because um, cooking shows don't really do that well on Twitch, or at least they didn't pre coronavirus. I think now it's if you look at the the food part, there's a much there's better viewers now than it used to be. Yeah. But um, we used to drag out everything like every week and change our kitchen into like a studio basically but every week and then there would be uh, just like i don't know it seemed like a lot of work for like what we were trying to do so yeah we, we just ended it but then once this started happening uh we started doing it again and people love it so yeah we're kind of catching some viewers over on the food you do that on the fridays food. right is that fridays or what day is that uh it's mondays but mondays. we're actually moving to Saturdays on um, Dirty Bird's channel. <gasps> That's it'll sick! Be, yeah, it'll be on Dirty Bird TV Saturdays, uh, 4 to 6 p.m. That's so awesome! Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What a fun crossover. <laughs> I feel like that makes sense, because yeah. they've, they've always done the grilling and shit, so, like, their fans are prepped for yeah, yeah. food content. Yeah, they, cook out. <laughs> they, they just have, like, such a uh, cool fan base, I feel like they'll, you know, they're going to welcome our, our weirdness. Yeah, definitely. Our cooking show isn't really, like, uh, like when I was talking to Claude Von Stroke about it, I was like, "It's it's a cooking show, but it's more like something that would be on Adult Swim than yeah, <laughs> so, yeah." Definitely. He was like, "He's like, no, I totally get it. I love it." So yeah, that's um, what's yeah, up. They, like, they like the weird shit. So I think it'll go down nice over there. We're pretty yeah. excited. And then, how have you been um, finding? Like, how are you enjoying uh, the weird topsy turvy? Uh, now we DJ on Twitch because we don't have gigs. I mean, maybe it's been nice to not have to be on the road. Like, Yeah. Um, I think, for one, it's been nice for me to just, um, like, talk more. Well, the, the first ones were kind of weird because it's like you're just DJing by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and you need the camera and you're like, oh, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. But the more you do it, you get more comfortable with it. And then you start seeing the the same community week after week in the chat and everyone's catching up with each other and everyone's like hyping you up and mm -hmm. there's just so much love going around. It's, it's just super cool. But I feel like it even helped me like how we were talking about this anxiety and stuff earlier, like just having that weekly, like catching up with people and talking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking out loud. Um, it's <laughs> not just it's in your head tight. over and over. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been cool, and I'm, I'm definitely ready to go play shows again. I I don't really like traveling that much, but I do love, uh, you know, hitting different cities and playing different clubs, and obviously a live crowd. But um, I, I think what I'm most excited about is taking what I've built on Twitch into the live atmosphere somehow. Yeah. Where if you're a subscriber... I can message my subscribers with, you know, half off tickets or something. Yes. Um, you can do exclusive meet and greets if, you know, if you're part of the Twitch fam That's or whatever. That's so just smart. Like, yeah, just like face to face with the people you've seen their screen names for the past, you know, six, seven months. Exactly. Oh, my God. You should have little hi, my name is tags at the the door, but oh, they should yeah. write their yeah. screen names. Yeah. So that <laughs> yeah, that'd be super cute. Because when they're like, yeah, I'm like Adam, that. you're like, <laughs> no, I'm sleazy tv 24 or whatever <laughs> and then you're like... i don't know if you've seen my, one of my latest ones but i added a uh channel point redemption where i give you a mispronounced shout out oh that's fucking that awesome some of those switch names are so crazy where i'm like i don't even know how to read this but now it's a thing so people will redeem you know that's 2, amazing. and i butcher their name on purpose sometimes it's something very obvious what it is and i have to think hard of how to like butcher this name but wow yeah, it'll be so cool to get good. all the two users like out live in the club maybe do early like meet and greets and even 
live stream those or yeah. I don't know. I think there's, there's a lot of possibilities there. So I'm That's excited so to cool. Try I love that. I haven't heard anyone talk about like I've heard people talk about, oh, I'll keep streaming when um, live shows come back. Like we've all accepted that we're integrating this into the the world of music performance, but yeah. I haven't heard anyone talk about like how they're going to reward their subscribers offline. That's <laughs> dope. <laughs> yeah. We've even talked, uh, Subset's another guy who's been just like, yeah, live stream God. So between, uh, I forget, I think he suggested it in the comments some posts but he was saying that me uh me codes and him should do a tour after once we're able to and just like a twitch the twitch fam tour yes twitch offline offline stream or some shit like that yeah oh my yeah, god yes. stream is offline <laughs> yes um yeah, i think that's so cool and i think that it's so cool that this as shitty of a situation as this really is at the end of the day it's been such a needle pusher for the culture in a way that is surprising and ultimately healthy, I think. Like, yeah, yeah there's yeah, like I... a whole community now of, I don't know if you were close with Subset before, but obviously now you guys are coming together under this new umbrella yeah. and you knew codes, but his streams are off the hook too. And I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. It's like an it's like a revival of sort. They're like a, just a whole new category of ways to be seen and things. I don't know. Like, yeah, I think even with like Discord, obviously mm. existed prior to this with with gamers and different communities. But the whole kind of music industry going into like Discord now, I've made just some really good friends just on Discord, which is yeah. amazing. Just like within you know since March or April, whenever all this went down. 